This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use Inkscape to create this vector impossible square graphic, both the colored in version and the outline version. And at any point in this tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. And by the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons like I have, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is make sure the view is set to custom. Then we're going to zoom in at one to one. And then we'll open up the uh, align and distribute menu with this button up here. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button. So what we're going to do first is create a square. So let's come over to the squares and rectangles tool and we'll hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that. And once we have that created, we'll just take the opacity of that and bring that down about in half. And we'll go back to the select tool. And uh, let's come up here to this toolbar and let's turn on the snap to cusp nodes. We're going to want that turned on for this tutorial. And then we're going to duplicate this square. So let's right click that and go to duplicate. And we'll turn the duplicated copy red. And then I'm just going to hold control and grab this arrow down here in the bottom left corner. And I'm just going to scale this down about that much. And then I'll hold shift and click on the black square behind it and go to path difference. So the next thing that we want to do is shave off the corner of this top here. I'll just show you, uh, if you notice, there's like a, a like corner shaved off on each side of the square there. So to do that, we're going to grab the Bezier pen, which is right here, or we can just press B on the keyboard. And uh, we're going to snap the cursor onto this corner right here and then click and then hold control and bring this line down 135, uh, ne uh, negative 135 degrees this way and it'll show you what angle and degree it's at down here at this bottom portion of the screen in Inkscape. So just hold control and bring it down, make sure it says negative uh, 135 and then click and we can let go of control and we can finish this shape up going around the outside of the box. Snap it back to the starting point and we'll go to the select tool hold shift and click on that uh, our little L shape there and go to path difference. So we now have that shape set. So we're gonna, what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this. You could right click that and go to duplicate and we could turn this red. And then I'm going to click on this again to get the scale, uh, the rotation handles. And then I'm just going to hold control on the keyboard and grab this top left arrow and uh, rotate this around until it's sitting upward like that. And then I'll take this I'll take this corner right here and snap it right into that corner up there. And then we'll take this black shape, we'll duplicate that as well. And instead of right clicking and going to duplicate, we're just going to hit Control D because that's easier. Control D to duplicate that. And then hold Shift and click on the red shape and go to Path Difference. So what we'll do next is we'll take this, uh, this black shape and again we're going to duplicate that by hitting Control D. And we're going to turn this one green and then click it again to get the rotation handles and hold control on the keyboard and just rotate this around this much like that and then we'll take this top corner over here and snap it into the bottom right corner of that red shape right there and we'll take this red shape we're going to duplicate that by hitting control D and then hold shift and click on the green shape and go to path difference and then finally, all we have to do here is we have to take this red shape right here. We're going to duplicate that. Just hit Control D, and we'll just turn this one blue. And we're going to flip that vertically and horizontally. And then we're going to take this left corner of the red of the blue shape right here and snap it onto the bottom left corner of the black shape like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that blue shape by hitting Control D, and then hold Shift and click on the black shape and go to Path Difference. So here we have the structure of the entire square set. So all we have to do is click and drag over all of it now, bring the opacity all the way up, uh, click off of it to deselect everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color this in. I'm going to take this black shape, click on that, and then hold shift and, and click on the green shape, and I'll make them both yellow like that. And then I'll take the blue shape and hold shift, click on the red shape, and I'll make that the same shade of yellow, but I'll come over to the Fill tab, and under the HSL tab, I'll take the H row and slide that to the left a little bit, just to make that a slightly different shade. Make it look a little orange like that. And we can click and drag over all of it. Uh, 
click again to get back to the rotation handles and I'm just going to hold control and rotate this around so it's sitting flat like that and there we have the colored inversion so what I'm going to show you now is how to make the uh, I guess you can call it the, the uh, wireframe version of that so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll duplicate this whole thing I'm just going to hit control D to duplicate it and then hold control and click and drag this off to the right and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this X to get rid of the fill the fill color and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the color black to give that an outline like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opacity and bring that down a little bit just so we can see what we're doing and uh, let's come over to the stroke style tab you can change the width if you're doing this your lines may be a different thickness than mine on the screen here I was previously using a 10 point stroke so Inkscape defaulted back to 10 but you can change this to however you want you can make this 25 which is a little a uh, little heavy or 12 or yeah I'll just I'll just leave it at 12 for now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna convert all of those strokes into a path because those outlines are called strokes so we'll go to path stroke to path and then path union and then we uh, we almost have the finishing touches here but um, there's these little edges sticking out right there we're gonna go around and get rid of those on each side so let's zoom in on this one right here I'm just gonna press plus on the keyboard a few times to zoom in and I'm gonna grab the bezier pen which is right here or I'm just gonna press B on the keyboard and I'm gonna snap the cursor into this corner and then click and then I'm gonna draw that line going parallel with the with this edge right here so I'm just gonna hold control until that line goes straight up like that and click and then let go of control and bring this shape all the way around and back to the starting point and go back to the select tool hold shift and click on the object and go to path difference I'm gonna do the same thing for this point right here press B to get back to the bezier pen snap it to that corner click hold control bring this line straight out like that so it's running parallel with this edge click let go of control bring this all the way around Go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on the uh, the object, and go to path difference. So we got rid of those little points there. Now we just got to go around and do the same thing to these other three items. So, uh, by the way, I pressed one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. So uh, I'm going to press plus on the keyboard to zoom in again. Uh, grab the bezier pen, B on the keyboard, snap onto this corner, and then snap onto that corner. Bring this all the way around, back to the starting point select tool hold shift click on the object path difference we'll do the same thing again B on the keyboard to get the bezier pen snap to this corner click hold control and move this straight down and click let go of control all the way back around to the starting point oops there we go go back to the select tool hold shift click on the object go to path difference and I'll come down here to this one. By the way, to move the page around, I'm just pressing down on the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. If you're using Inkscape version 91, you could also press down on the spacebar key and move the mouse, and that'll also move the page around. So um, let's press B to get the Bezier pen. Snap to this corner, click, snap to that corner, bring it all the way around. Select tool, shift, click on the object, path, difference. And again, B to get the Bezier pen snap to this corner hold control bring this straight out horizontally like that and click let go of control back around to the starting point select tool hold shift click on the object path difference and we'll come up here and do the same thing and I'm pretty sure you get the point by now so I'm not going to keep repeating the steps out verbally if you missed it uh, you could just go back and watch what I did to the other three sides um, we're pretty much just doing the same thing all the way around. Path difference. And you press one on the keyboard to zoom back out. We can bring the opacity up. And you can make this whatever color you'd like. And that's pretty much it. We have now created our uh, impossible square using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.